Hello, hello. So I wanted to get this little more in shot so you could see my fun Halloween stuff. I found one of these cute little buckets. Oh, I got it at Michael's or Joanne's, but it's metal, so I stuck a bunch of my cover minders, and then I have one of my jars and my pretty um, sparklers in there that I don't use. All my ones from the all the uh, little projects that I put in there. My pretty ones, and then I found this one. He's cute, and then he's got. He's holding my washi tape. And then I got this spooky box at Joanne's, which has some of my stuff in it that I haven't taken out yet. Like, oh yeah, how can I forget my coffin I got in 2020? How can I forget that? You know, it's gotta come out, because it's spooky season. This goes in the dark, by the way. I just put my spooky cover miners and magnets in it. And yeah! So I thought I'd uh, show you my little fun spooky backdrop. I really gotta find another spooky picture to put up there. Get rid of my snow leopard, but that's what I got for now. So, got a little review. I got a. Trick or treat sign I got from Fancells. Came out very cute. Just four colors, no DMCs. I did have to go in my stash. Um, the black is horrible. I mean, you can see right off. I mean, I couldn't. I wasn't going to fight trying to find. Drills that weren't broken, drills that weren't stuck to pieces, and I wasn't going to bother to fight with ones that were in the way. So, I had enough colors, I just, the black was crying. And right there, look, there's two little pieces stuck to that tray. So, other than that, I mean, it looks good. It just got twine I got to put on here, a little rope. I don't know, I might find something different to hang it, but it's cute. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. Because it is going to be hanging up and people touch it or it falls off the wall. Because people touch it. Listen, when you have toddlers, they touch things. So, that's what I got. Um, so, that's my cute little spooky sign. I say, it you know, came out cute. Oh, I might just like down here. Um, it did come out cute. I did like it. It's just that I um, don't particularly like... Um, picking through ones that are really trashy so uh, obviously 310 I have lots of 310 and it's a cute little quick project I did enjoy doing it it was something just to break up the monotony of the projects I've been working on so I'd say for fan cells it's pretty good whether I'm gonna keep buying fan cells that's a whole different story probably not so I have a big um, custom coming I ordered it from I've never ordered from before that's doing this custom for me and it's going to be a uh, 40 centimeter wide and a 120 centimeter long so I enjoyed kidding up I kitted up a um, bunny Abraham Hunter um, the bunnies and the leaves kit and this one and so I decided I would get a second one to have on hand. It was like six fifty off. So yes. So it comes with some tools. It's got a nice baggie. It's got a little tray to throw your trash in. A regular size tray and a spout. The really big one with this thing. Um, I actually found, I used these when I first started. This was a pain in the butt, so you're better off tapping it to get all the drills in the corner, and it pours easier. At least for me, easier. 
in the corner than trying to get it out through the spout part. So now we've got two pairs of plastic black tweezers, which don't do nothing. And then a small sheet of stickers. So it's nice it comes with a few tools and it's got a small pouch. And then it's got this one. So you want to put your trays and your pens and extra goodies up here. So it's got two of these. And I'm not the reason I'm not big on these ones is because they're so bulky. But I figured for Diamond Art Club ones and for ones that are gonna be bigger. That I get, um, like I have a wolf kit from Crystal Chemist Art that's probably going to be a good size one to kit up. So it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to put it in here. And also I um, have that custom, so I figured, why not, you know. I do like these boxes are the Tic Tac, but they're the bigger square ones. So if you want to kit it up and just put them in like that. Or you can put them in that hole. And there's lots of space to put your labels there. I don't like to work on them like this. I still will sit here and individually turn them all around and have them face that way. Because I put the label there, so it faces that way. But that's something I can just switch around. So for one that has lots of colors, if it's got heavy confetti and has like over you know, 65 colors, um, it's a good one to have. So it has 92. So if you have one that has lots of colors and it has lots of color blocking and you end up having to use like two of these or three of these, especially if it's a Diamond Art Club and it's got, you know, good chunks of section where you got a lot of 310 or 3865, you've got plenty of containers. So you can have plenty of room to have them all kitted up and ready to go. Well, like I said, it is bulky. It is a bigger container. Like if I were to get out, um, you know, so, see that's the thing that's painting, but you gotta get them back in there. Um, let me get. All right, so this is the same container that I unboxed last week. Same boxes. It's just in plastic. And obviously there's not as many. So if I were to kit up a big one, I'd have to have two of these. So that's kind of like one of the really nice things about this is everything's in one. You can put your trays, your pens, anything you're gonna need to diamond paint for that kit can all be together. Like if you have a themed pen and like you have a special tray like say I wanted to put like a really fun pen, one of my new Donna Bass pens, and put one of my really nice trays, plus put extra wax, you know, my extra tack, my extra glue dots and washi tape. And maybe I'm not doing covers, so I do put this is the plastic on. It's, you can put a small pair of scissors in that pouch. I mean you could really load up the stuff so that way everything is right there. And then it just has a little feet, like a suitcase. This, I'm just gonna take that plastic off. Um, and then I have one of these, I guess, if you're gonna attach it because you were taking it and traveling it with you. I mean, this would be good too if you wanted something for all of your spares to be in one spot. You could probably fit, you know, quite a bit of spares in a container like this. So. So that's this guy. Um, probably won't order any more of these. I do like my more compact ones. But I thought it'd be nice to have on hand and have this for the customs and for um, some of the diamond art clubs that are a lot bigger. And then even then, when you know, 92 containers, I could easily if I've got two that I really want to get done um, or say I have one and then I 
want to switch back and forth, I could very easily put, like say if I want to work in a round and then I'm sick of working in a round and I want to work on a square, I can kit up two kits in here and have it. So that way I don't even have to switch and get different containers up. So that's another, you know, perk about having one like this. But yeah, you can put all sorts of stuff in here. I mean, very easily could, you know, these were just in behind there, but these could also fit nice. Right there, ready to go. Look that, that's a big tray. Yeah, you can see them right there, and then you want to stick your little baggie or container of your wax and stuff, stick it right in there, and then you can leave this to put your pen, and you know, maybe if you keep a regular pen to write stuff, and you know, maybe you keep a regular tweezers, you know, the sharp tweezers, and a few extra little things on hand, washi tape and stuff, I mean, easily all that would fit right in there. So yeah, so that's what I got. Any questions? Oh, this I got on Amazon. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, it is available on Amazon. I believe this is still on fan sales. This is my review. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If there's anything you want to see, um, please let me know. I am trying to get this crystal canvas art finished so I can do a proper review on it. Of course, going beautiful, just like all the other crystal canvas arts like I've done. I'm doing this one for the um, Jills and Chills, and this is I just looked on Amy's site. If you look under Jills and Chills, she does have this still available. So once I get it done, I think which upside down drills right there. I'm going to go ahead and put a picture because I don't think she has a picture of this one done on there so I'm going to go ahead and upload a review for her with the picture so she can attach that to this one because it is still available on her website so that's all I got so Amazon fan sales check out crystal canvas art um, this is the one I'm about uh, two-thirds of the way done with now I'm doing it for drills and chills I'm hoping to have it done so I can get working um, let me grab my cool deals. Okay, just because I'm probably not going to get to finish this and do a full review before Halloween. Um, I've started it. So far it looks great. It looks exactly like the picture. It, the drills are really nice. Really fun, really easy. Um, so, so far I am impressed with cool deals. This is my first cool deals canvas I'm working on. I wanted to get working on it and get some sections done to um, give it a good test run, but yeah, so just wanted to show you that guys that quick. In case I forget and it gets past Halloween and I'm done with it, I know I didn't do a review, but I will do a review because I do want a review on cool deals, but that's I wanted to show you quick because I'm trying to get this one done so I can work on this one because look at how cute that pumpkin is. Um, over um if you've never worked on a chalkboard background i've done the coffee one the mickey mouse one the apple one and then i did a kitchen one for my mother so this is my fifth chalkboard background and the background does get like really boring and tedious so that's why i definitely I'm looking forward to getting over here and doing the other cups that's on the other side and the other pumpkin and leaf because yeah the background is just <laughs> it makes you like oh my god I want to do more color because there isn't a lot of color until you get to certain spots where the you know, I mean the end effect looks great like this cup looks awesome so I'm looking forward to getting over there working on the other cup and the pumpkin and the other leaf so yeah just got to get through it. The chalkboard sometimes can be a little tedious because it is color blocking some confetti, some confetti, some color blocking. It's like made smashable. So, so I got leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, let me know. And I will uh, see you guys 
nature and remember that everything is for fun, for relaxation, to share your love of art with others and to enjoy all things sparkly. Bye guys.